Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comments section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. Now let's learn about a very interesting method of finding the solution of system of linear equations. That's a method called Kramer's rule. When we have a three system of equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to d2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3z is d3. If you remember, we can express this equation in the form a into x equal to b. Can you identify what is a into x equal to b in matrix notation? Yes, it will be the values of a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3 times the variable matrix that is x, y, z is equal to the constant matrix that is d1, d2 and d3. Now in case when we have a matrix equation of the form a into x equal to b, let's consider d as the determinant of the matrix a which is determinant of a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3, right. Now d determinant denotes the determinant of the coefficient matrix of the given equation. Then for this method, Let's multiply x with the determinant of d, then it would be x times determinant of a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. But what is the product of a determinant with a constant number? Yes, either a row or a column gets multiplied by this. So let's multiply this x inside on the first column then this will become a1 into x, a2 into x and a3 into x. The rest of the rows will remain same. That is the advantage of determinants is only a row or a column gets multiplied by the number outside the determinant. Now we also have a row operations on the determinant when we replace c1 with c1 plus y times c2 plus z times c3. The value of the determinant remains the same. Then what will be the value of the determinant? It would be a1 into x plus the second row elements multiplied with y and the third row elements multiplied with z and added to the second column elements multiplied with y and the third column elements multiplied with z and these two products are added to the first row column and still the determinant remains same. So this is equal to a1x plus b1 into y plus c1 into z and what will be the element in the first column? a2 into x plus b2 into y plus c2 into z. Similarly, the last column element will become a3x plus b3y plus c3z and the rest of the rows will remain the same b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Now how is this number a1x plus b1y plus c1z? Yes, that is the left hand side of the equation given to us. So can we replace this a1x plus b1y plus c1z with the number d1? Similarly, a2x plus b2y plus c2z can be replaced with d2. Then this product would now become d1, d2, d3 in the first column. The remaining columns remain the same b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Now if you look at this determinant, the row replaced with x, the column corresponding to x is replaced by the constant matrix d1, d2 and d3, right? Because the constant is replacing the coefficients of x here. Let's call this by name dx. Then what is the equation we have now? We are simplifying x times the determinant of a and it is coming to be determinant of x. How is this d of x formed? d of x is formed by replacing the constant elements at the column corresponding to the coefficients of x. That's why I denoted it by dx. Then what is x value from here? Yes, it is dx by d where dx is obtained by replacing the x coefficients of the matrix A with the constant elements. Just for your understanding, let's also consider y times d. 
that is y times the determinant of a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 now this y which is outside the determinants has to be multiplied with any one row or a one column let's multiply this y on the second column entries then this will become first column remains as it is a1 a2 a3 b1 times y b2 times y b3 times y and the third column remains as it is c1 c2 c3 we'll operate this second column by multiplying the first column with x add it to c2 and multiply the last column c3 by z and replace them with elements of c2 then by properties of determinants the value remains same first column remains as it is a1 a2 a3 how will be the elements of the second column now yes they will be now replaced with a1x plus b1y plus c1z a2x plus b2y plus c2z and a3x plus b3y plus c3z and the third column remains as it is c1 c2 c3 but if you look at the elements in the second column here they are the left hand sides of the system of equations given so can we replace this as a1 a2 a3 now replacing the second column elements in the terms of the constant elements that is d1 d2 d3 then third column remains as it is c1 c2 and c3 if you look at this determinant the y coefficients are now replaced with the constant elements d1 d2 and d3 then we call this as the determinant obtained by replacing the y coefficients hence i'm denoting it by dy now we started simplifying the value of y into d and we got a determinant whose y coefficients are replaced by the constant elements so can we say we have an equation y times d is given by dy then what is y value from here the value of y is given by dy that is the determinant of a in which the coefficients of y are replaced by the constant elements d1 d2 and d3 by the original determinant d right and now can we write similarly z times d would be a matrix where the determinant obtained by replacing the coefficients of z by d1 d2 d3 then from here we get the value of z as determinant obtained by replacing the coefficients of z by the constant terms by the original determinant of d right that's what this rule says kramer's rule says x is given by dx by d where d denominator is the determinant of the original matrix a coefficient matrix and the dx is the matrix determinant obtained by replacing the first element column that is the coefficients of x that's why we denoted with dx by the corresponding constants of the given system of equations and the value of y is given by dy by d where dy is the determinant obtained by replacing the y elements y coefficients by the constant elements of the determinant and similarly z is given by dz by d where dz is obtained by replacing the coefficients of z by the constant elements of the given system of equations right an interesting rule of kramer's rule but if you remember this procedure is valid only provided determinant of a which we are denoting by d is non zero otherwise the denominator being d this equation kramer's rule does not work so what is the main principle for kramer's rule to apply yes the determinant of a should be non zero then only kramer's rule is possible to be applicable right and this is applicable only for a non homogeneous system right hey there hope you understood the concept here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning found this video useful Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.